Hi there. We're in the common room of the Bullionstrat 8 right now. One of the buildings where the bachelors in data science and knowledge engineering is taught. In this program, you'll study things such as logic, intelligent search and machine learning. And you'll collect and organize relevant information using mathematics and smart computer techniques. But wait, why am I explaining this? Let's ask Stephen Kelk. He's an associate professor here. Stephen, can you tell us a bit more about the programme? So, in some sense, we are a, a mixture of different disciplines. We're a mixture of computer science, mathematics, uh, data science and artificial intelligence. So whereas some programmes tend to lay the focus on just one of those themes, we very much try to cover all those four things. Uh, and this way our students get a good uh, basis in both theoretical aspects but also applied aspects. And it's exactly through that combination of those things that our students often are more developed, uh, more well-rounded scientists and uh, employees than people from maybe more specialised programmes. And could you also give me some examples of that? The, the general backdrop is that the media is full of news about data, vast volumes of data generated by companies like Google, for example. But often people forget that a computer is just a tool. It doesn't know what to do with the data, right? You have to instruct it somehow. And our job here, all the people here, is to in instruct computers to process this data and to turn it into useful information because they're different. Data can contain no information, it can contain lots of information. So we really want to take that data, make it useful and use that to, to make suggestions and recommendations for how to optimize processes. Let me give you two examples. For example, if someone takes your credit card and misuses it and steals money, how does the bank know that those transactions are fraudulent? With machine learning algorithms, you can stare at the transactions and after training an algorithm for long enough, it can start to become an expert in spotting those transactions far more efficiently than a human ever could. And here's a second example. The local supermarket starts delivering to your home, but on a given day, they have to stop 10, 20 houses. What's the most efficient way to route those vans and to pack those vans with goods so that you get the goods you need as quickly as possible and the company saves costs as much as possible? That requires mathematics, that requires programming and a deep insight into the power of computers. So all these kind of improvement and optimization things and pattern matching and spotting patterns where you could not do that by eye, all these things we study in our program. In the first video, Stephen mentioned that the mixture of theoretical and applied aspects is one of the things that sets this programme apart from other programmes. The programme also has two other distinguishing features. The second point, I think, which really makes our programme different is that alongside the traditional forms of learning, so lectures, and seminars and, and practicals, we put a strong emphasis on group-based learning. So, Students typically follow classes, do exercises, sit exams, but they also work in groups together. And group work is not always easy, but it's an essential skill in the real world because we can't work on our own. So our students typically per semester work in a team of four to six students working on some mixture of theory and practice uh, to actually build software and write scientific reports. I know from many other programs and my own degree experience that if I had had that amount of group experience leaving university, I would have been a lot happier. So our students, they sometimes find it difficult, but it really, really sets them apart in terms of their ability to work in groups. And as a third point, I think what really helps is that now our students, our best students, if you study hard enough, you can be that too, they get to spend two days a week at a local tech company where they can develop real world practical skills of teamwork and software development and algorithm development. So I think these two, three points, they are really a unique selling point of our program. The third point Stephen mentioned, the special program where students work for local companies, is called KE at Work. Dunny is one of the students that has participated in this program and in this video she explains why she chose to participate. I come from China originally. The university has a few partnerships with uh, local companies and these companies have projects, for example the one I'm working on, two days out of the five days per week I'm working at the company at the airports, they do cloud computing. 
is quite challenging tasks, but there you really get to apply a lot of things you learned from the classes and even look a bit beyond that. There you get to learn already how to solve tasks with missing information, with imperfect inputs. So I think it's a good preparation for your later career wherever you go. By the way, we're in the department's common room right now. Kind of looks like a cozy family room, doesn't it? Well, in many ways, the word family is quite an accurate way to describe the program. Though it is becoming increasingly popular, the Bachelor's in Data Science and Knowledge Engineering is a relatively small program. Stephen, could you explain why this is a good thing? Well, I think what really helps us here is that we we're not a huge department, we're growing very rapidly, but compared to some of the mega faculties and mega universities across the world, we're still kind of small. And that gives certain advantages because it means the, the atmosphere inside at AK is extremely uh, informal and friendly. I mean, I'm not going to say I know all the students by name, but I know most of the students by name. And likewise, they can come and see me and my colleagues anytime they want. So the lines between staff and students are very short. And our experience is that this really enhances the learning outcomes for the students and really makes them feel uh, comfortable being here and being part of a team. I should add that the small scale nature of the programme is also one of the reasons why this programme does well in many rankings. It's often ranked high when compared to other programmes in its cohort. Maybe we should also tell you more about what you can do when you graduate. Because, Stephen, students really end up in a wide variety of places, don't they? Well, the nice thing is, uh, because of our program, which has many aspects, theoretical, applied, optimization, artificial intelligence, uh, our students can do a wide range of stuff. Many of our students go directly into a job because there is absolutely no shortage of jobs for people with a rigorous, uh, balanced, applied theoretical education in computer science and data science. But the nice thing is, Many of our students decide to deepen their knowledge and they go on to study a master's and maybe later a PhD. So to give you some examples, students can follow one of our two own master programs, which is a direct extension of the bachelor. But sometimes students want to go abroad to broaden their horizons. And with great pleasure, I can say in all honesty that we managed to send our students when they do go abroad to institutions like Cambridge or Zurich. Um, so the options are really wide, either industry or academia or something in between. Um, our students do all of this and, and more. Wait, I also have an example of that. In this video, you will see Jeroen Trins. He's a data science and knowledge engineering alumnus. He's designing games for mobile devices nowadays. The opportunity was to actually do something with the knowledge I was building up in my study. And uh, there was a chance for me to get in uh, the train of, of being an entrepreneur at that time. The professor that was teaching me uh, saw an opportunity in, in online uh, gaming at that time, and so we jumped in. I, I built for uh, construction and installation, I built for uh, healthcare, I built for governance, I built for large enterprises. So I need to address that problem from them and transform that into game dynamics. And um, that's knowledge engineering. In order to, to manage a group of programmers, you need to know something about programming as well. Right now, it's, it's, it's a great example. We are building a game called Boost to motivate youngsters in the age of 8 to 14 to move more. We use two techniques, a wearable, that is uh, actually a step counter. It measures this and sends it via Bluetooth to your phone. And we have a, a game on the phone and that motivates them to play and if they want to grow in the game they have to move more. The skills that I learned from knowledge engineering I apply every day in seeing new opportunities and mixing technologies to come up with new ideas for gaming. If you like what you've seen here you really should consider getting a bachelor's in data science and knowledge engineering. Stephen, do you have anything to add to that? So I want to leave you with this idea, with this thought. Computers are everywhere, but they really, really can only use them effectively if people know how to use them in practice, but also the underlying mathematics of what computers are and how they can be utilized. So if you want to combine this 
deep mathematical insight with the ability to really make a difference in practice, I really recommend you join our programme. Um, if so, I'll see you in September or a September in the near future. And if you have any questions about our programme, feel free to contact me or one of my colleagues and we'll be happy to explain more about the programme. Thanks and see you soon. I couldn't have said it better myself.